What is up, Web3 people? Welcome back to another Morales tutorial video in which we're going to check out an NFT use case the Morales Web3 workflow can provide for you. Just as a disclaimer, before we start, we're going to be using the Next.js authentication app we've built in a previous project as the backbone for this project. So there'll be a link on the screen right now if you want to go check that video out first before continuing with this. But the basic idea is after user authenticates, they create a JWT session with their wallet address, the profile ID generated by the Morales Authentication API, and then a signature they used to authenticate. Now we can go ahead and use their wallet address alongside the Morales Web3 API to go ahead and check whether this user actually holds a NFT. And if they do, we can generate protected members only content for users that have a NFT. So if we press members only over here, we see that this user has the NFT we specified. So the Morales blog NFT, and we get the image of the NFT and some details. Of course, here you could provide anything you'd like, like videos, a blog, a chat space, whatever you want for your NFT holders. But now if we go back to the profile page, sign out and check out a different account, let's make sure that disconnect as well. So we disconnect like so and jump into account three over here, which I know doesn't hold that NFT authenticate via MetaMask. We do next connect using the Morales authentication API. We sign this message and we create a JWT session for this account wallet address. And we can use this address to check whether they own that Morales blog NFT members only page. We see that you don't have our NFT and we don't generate any content for this user. How cool is that? If you're excited for this build, stay stuck in and we'll show you how easy this is with the Morales EVM API. Hey, I'm Jay, your Morales instructor from beautiful Finland. I got into crypto in 2020, and I've been building in the space ever since. In my free time, I enjoy running and at the gym, and in the summer, you'll definitely find me at the golf course. Now, let's get stuck in and learn about Web3. All right, so starting off, as I said, we have this Next.js auth project. You can get this in the link in the description if you want to follow along in this tutorial, but there'll also be the final repository. Once you get this repository, just make sure to install all the dependencies, npm, i. Beautiful. And then of course, you'll have the .env file where you'll have to provide your Morales API key. And there, there's a link in the description to see how you can get a, yourself a Morales API key. But the other parameters are described in the next Auth.js tutorial. So now we can go ahead and work on the pages folder, which has our front end over here. So currently, we just have the user page and the sign in page and the back end over here in the API folder. But we have to create that protected page. So let's go ahead and create a new file called protected.js. So this is the page we will direct users after they press the members only button and where we'll demonstrate to the user whether they have the NFT and then give them information about the NFT. Or if they don't have the NFT, we'll just give them a prompt them a message saying that you don't have our NFT. Let's close up the terminal and start working over here. And whoa, 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 before we start, it seems like we put our protected.js file in the back end. So make sure you move it into the pages folder. So it's in the front end. So we can direct to that URL as well. So here you see it should be in the same folder as the sign in and user.js file. But let's start off with the imports for this project. So we'll get session to be able to get the user's wallet address. Then we'll of course use Morales to get access to the EVM API. And then we'll use use router from next router to make sure that we can direct between the user's profile page and the protected content page. Now for creating our protected page functional component, let's first just start off with a very simple component that returns a div, including a simple button, taking us to the profile page so the slash user page. And then it has a title called protected content. So here you see we destructure push from user router and use that as we press the button. That's all we do. Let's also do it for the user page. So we have a way to get to our protected page. So let's go ahead and copy this, jump into user.js, import it at the top, make sure we destructure push from use router, and then we create another button that directs us to the protected route with a button saying members only content like so. So now we have a simple protected content file, which just has a title and a button. So let's go ahead and run this on a development server, npm run dev like so. It's compiled on localhost 3000. Let's open Google Chrome. And would you look at that web three authentication, we're on the localhost 3000 slash sign in page. Now if we authenticate, let's use account one over here, connect. Morales authentication API works beautifully, we get the JWT session with the wallet address the user has. Now if we go to the members only route, 
So this takes us to the protected route and our protected content title is here and it can take us back to our profile route. So the user page, how cool is that? Now let's go ahead and work on the content for this page. All right, so returning into our protected.js file, let's underneath our functional component, but above our export, create a export for getting server side props. So then here we'll check whether we have an active session and use that to reroute to the sign in page if there's no active session, and also use the Morales EVM API to check whether the user, if they are logged in, has a NFT and then display that information on this page. So first of all, getting the session is relatively simple. You just use the get session hook from next auth to get the session details. Now we can write a small conditional to check whether there is a session like so. So if there is no session, we can just redirect back to the sign in route where the user is prompted to sign in, and then there will be an active session and they can actually get on to this protected route. Now, finally, we have to use the Morales API key, which we have stored in the environment variables, Morales API key over here, to start off a instance of Morales, like so. So it's simple, you just wait for Morales to start, and inside curly brackets, you have to provide a API key, which we have in our environment variables. Now we can use the Morales EVM API, first of all, like so. So we await for the Morales EVM API using the account category to get the get NFTs for contract endpoint. I'll have a link in the description to all the parameters this endpoint takes, but the necessary endpoints are the token address and the wallet address of the user you wanna check. But then you also have a optional component which is the chain, which we've set to the Mumbai testnet because that's where our NFT is. But by default, this is chain one, which is Ethereum, like so. Having a quick look at what we set as the parameters, the address we take from the session, the user's address. So if you remember in our Next.js auth tutorial, in this next auth file in the backend over here, we create this user object with has the address profile ID and signature, which are then stored in a JWT token and into the session itself. So we can extract those using the get session functionality to then set the address as the user who is currently logged in. And as the token address, we've just hard coded a token, a NFT token we ourselves have in our wallet. So quickly, if you're new to NFTs, I'll just show you how you can do this. Go over to Google Chrome, go to OpenSea, and here I have my own profile. I have this NFT over here and we get details about this NFT. We have the contract address over here, which we can copy and then go ahead and paste over here. And now this NFT list will return us an array of objects of all the NFTs we hold from this NFT collection. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Then I already touched upon the chain, but of course the Morales EVM API, as the name might suggest, is applicable to any EVM machine. So you could get NFTs from the Ethereum chain, Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche Chain, whatever you could think of. There's the chain IDs described on the Morales documentation site so you can get the correct chain. Now, finally, what we have to do in these get server side props is return the props that we can then read in our component over here. So let's go ahead and return props. We'll return two props, a message where we check the length of the NFT list. If it's greater than zero, we'll know that they have the NFT and we could return nice, you have our NFT. But if it's less, we'll return, sorry, you don't have our NFT. And then the other prop we'll return is the NFT list. So we'll just get the result of the NFT list. And this is going to be the array of objects with information about each of the NFTs from this smart contract the user owns. And now the final thing to do is just present these details in our component itself. So let's go ahead and pass in the props over here into the component. So we have the message and the NFT list. And then below our heading, we can return the images by mapping through our list and getting the metadata and the image key from each of the elements. And then we can also return just all of the NFT list if we'd like to do so, like so. So we just stringify our NFT list and return the whole list. Then of course we have the message as well. So we can just return that in a div at the top over here, message. Beautiful. And that is the complete build. So now we have some protected content that should be av available only if the user has a NFT from this collection. Let's jump back into Google Chrome and we are on the sign in page. Let's just check which account we're on. So we're account account one, which has this one NFT. 
All right, over here, let's authenticate via MetaMask. We sign the request. Now we're on the user page. If we press members only, look at this. Nice, you have our NFT. The NFT's image is over here and the array is over here. We get the image from the metadata and the parsed JSON, we get the image. So that is how we're demonstrating the image over here. And now we should be able to also, if we log out, sign out, let's connect to a different account. So disconnect account one over here, jump into account three. Account three shouldn't have any NFT. So if we go to the profile of account three over here, we don't have any of the Morales blog NFTs. Let's authenticate via MetaMask. Next, connect, sign. We go to the members only page and look at this. Sorry, you don't have our NFT. How cool is that? You've created protected content onto your website using the Morales EVM API. I hope you enjoy this video and you put this into good use, creating special content for your NFT holders. I'll see you in the next one.